Going to the fourth problem, a train travels a distance of 480 km at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 8 km per hour less, then it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. We need to find the speed of the train. So let us see the solution. Assume the speed of the train is equal to x km per hour. Now we know that time is equal to distance divided by speed. Therefore, the time taken to complete a distance of 480 kilometers is equal to distance traveled is 480 and the speed is x. So the time taken is 480 divided by x hours. Now the speed is reduced by 8 km per hour. So the new speed becomes x minus 8 km per hour. According to the given condition, the new time becomes the distance travelled is the same distance which is 480 and the speed is x minus 8. So the new time which is 480 divided by x hours. According to the given condition, if the speed had been 8 km per hour less, it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. Initial time that is original time plus 3 hours is equal to new time. The original time was found to be 480 divided by x plus 3 is equal to new time was found to be 480 divided by x minus a. Now we can write 480 divided by x minus 8 minus 480 divided by x is equal to 3. So 480 can be taken as common 1 by x minus 8 minus 1 by x is equal to 3. This is equal to 480 times of the LCM will be x times of x minus 8. So we here we will be having x minus of x minus 8 is equal to 3. This becomes 480 times of x minus x is 0 minus of minus 8 is plus 8 divided by x times of x minus a. This is equal to 3. On cross multiplication, we get 3 times of x times of x minus 8 is equal to 480 times of 8. So, x times of x minus 8 is equal to 480 times of 8 divided by 3. 3 goes in 480 as 160. This is x square minus 8x is equal to 1280. So x square minus 8x and plus 1 1280 can be transposed to LHS and this becomes minus 1280. This is equal to 0. Therefore, the given condition can be expressed in the form of the quadratic equation as x square minus 8x minus 1280 is equal to 0.